Either you have many plants indoor or you want to bring your plants from outdoor to indoor and keep them over winter. So light is very critical, especially for many plants which they need more light. Let's make it simple. First of all is the sunlight. If you have a south side window, there is no problem. You can keep your plants happy over winter or even indoor for a long time. But if you have a small space, if you don't have a south side window or you, if you have many plants, so maybe you need to have another source of light, which in this case, LED grow lights are best options. But today I'll be focused on LED lights, especially LED grow lights. So there are many videos and many people discussing whether you can use normal LED lights or bulbs to keep your plants. It could be, but that's need to have a certain criteria. Uh, there should be a full spectrum wavelength from 400 to 700, which is proper for plants to do photosynthesis and uh, grow. But today I will talk about specific categories of LEDs that they, they known as the LED grow lights. It has been four years I'm using these LED grow lights to keep my plants happy. In these past four years, I, many times I went on, uh, I went to Amazon and other sources to find which one are best for me, and then I bought many of them and tested. So in this video, I will not go to in many technical details, but I will give you practical advices which LED lights could be better for you. There is a full science behind these LED lights which it will help us to determine whether they are good or not and they are performing well or not like watts, kelvins, lumens, uh, distributions of light, power which is photosynthetically active radiations, light distribution, light intensity, whether it is a full spectrum or not. But in this video, I'll keep it simple and uh, how they perform in reality because there are many information on these lights that maybe you cannot trust or some of them you can trust very well. So I used four different uh, LED lights in past four years. So I will start with the lowest one, cheapest one, and I will keep best one for the end of this video. So stay with me to go all over all of these products and which one could be better for you. Before talking about all of these four products and four different LEDs that I bought in the past four years, I need to mention that I'm not advertising for these uh, products. All of them, they have some advantage and they have some disadvantage. But I'll put the links below so you can go on Amazon and see how the reviewers and how they uh, discussed and how they saw these products. Okay, first option is these normal uh, light bulbs. They are very cheap and uh, I, I bought these like three bucks in Canada, but you can maybe it will be cheaper or a little bit more expensive other countries. But this one is eight watts and generating 800 lumen. Be honest, never I used this bulb for plant very successfully, but it could be maybe help to grow one plant in short distance and make that one plant happy. But I don't think so. This is the best options for you if you want to keep your plants happy for a long time. Second one is the adjustable stand tree pots, which I'm using this one here. So usually they have a range of 20 to $40, depends on your country. And keep in mind, part of that money is because of that tree pots. They have around four extensions and these four extensions, each one has like 20 uh, LEDs. So in overall, there are 80 LEDs in these four extensions. There are advantage for this system. It's very flexible. You can put it wherever you want. You can adjust distance between your plants and the uh, uh, LED lights. And when your plant is growing, you can uh, change the distance. Also, they have a timer and also they have a different brightness moods. You can see also they have a dual controllers. You can see controllers here and these controllers uh, one of them is attached to the tripod, one of them is remote control and you can adjust brightness, timer and other uh, uh, characteristics in these LED lights. What's the problem with these LED lights? There are two major problems. Efficiency is low. 
So you have 80 LEDs in four extensions, but you cannot keep many plants. Like in our case that you can see here, we, uh, we can keep like three plants, like uh, African wildlands, coleus and a ginseng bonsai in a uh, using these four extension and 80 pieces. And I can say that's not really perfect. These plants can survive, can grow, but that's not the best options. Uh, another problem is I think I bought four for myself and my friends and at the end two of them stopped working. There is a higher rate that they will stop uh, working. Let's go for the third one. Third one is a LV Jing, something like that. Uh, LV Jing LED, which is our eight packs. And in total, they have around 384 LEDs. And wattage is around 200. And based on the product information, wavelength is around 380 to 800, which is uh, in the range of uh, plants that can grow from 400 to 700 nanometer. So all of these information shows these are very good products. Here you can see how I'm using this product. I'm using to keep different plants like coleus. Here you can see lemon. Then you can see ginseng, uh, uh, ginseng cos and also coleus plants. And also even I, uh, I use these uh, packs for my bookshelves and I uh, try to keep some plants like patus or coleus cuts and other plants using these LED, LED lights. So I bought two sets of this product and in total I have 16 uh, packs. What's the advantage of these packs? They have a dual control, one attached to the uh, product and one is a remote control. They have timer uh, that you can uh, adjust uh, uh, intensity uh, there are different moods for intensity but what's the problem usually they are not very flexible so you can stick them to the place or wire them to the place and fix them in the place like i did in my shelf or other places and another big problem is that despite the fact they wrote they have like 200 watts power it doesn't seem like that's perfect always i need to keep my plants close to these LED lights to make them happy or I need to put multiple packs close to each other to make my plants happy as you can see in the video. Now it's time to talk about best the best one that I, I bought. Never I bought something more than 100 bucks like Canadian dollars but this one is TS600 Hydro Mars LED light. I love these lights but let's talk about the characteristics is 100 watts, is in a range of 400 to 700 nanometers, best perfect wave lights for plants, and there are 225 LED lights. Let's, uh, and let's talk about in advantage. In comparison with all other LED lights I talked, this one worked much, much better. Even when we compare it with these LV Jing 8 packs that I described, that they, they show there are 384 LEDs, eight packs, and they have 200 watts. This one, this Hydro Mars TS600 is much, much stronger. It's much, I can keep plants far from the, uh, the source lights and still they grow nicely. As you can see in, in this video, my coleus, even purple one, the color is a perfect, also green ones are perfect. Even I can keep it in a longer distances and my pilea or Chinese money is growing very well. And another thing that makes me happy about these uh, Hydro Mars is endurance. In many cases like this video I will show here, I kept this LED, LED on for more than 60 days to shoot time lapses, long time lapses. So never had a problem and always stayed very well. And another thing that I was happy with this LED light is that I kept many different plants in different distances. You will get the amazing result of all kinds of plants you have. What's about the disadvantage of this product? There are two disadvantages. Usually you cannot, it's not very really flexible. 
is fixed. You need to put it somewhere and keep it there. Second disadvantage is usually it generates more temperature than other LED lights that I mentioned. And if your plant is very close to the source of lights or uh, the LED, it could burn leaves and that's happened a few times for me. So always you need to keep in mind the leaves and plant shouldn't be very very close to the source of light and the LED. TS600 is very nice, I'm happy with it. The uh, price is not very high but if you want to pay more there are TS1000s and other, other TSL uh, LEDs which I think they, they, they will be very nice but they could go higher to few hundred dollars. And at the end here, we talked a lot about the coal use plants, which are shiny and beautiful. And if you want to know more about coal use, please watch this playlist.